This tutorial will be explaining the hydrolysis of esters, or in other words, how to break them apart. In acid hydrolysis, an ester reacts with water to produce a carboxylic acid and an alcohol, which is what it started with to begin with. A water molecule provides the OH group to convert the carbonyl group into an ester to the carboxyl group. And as a catalyst and heat is required to do this. So here, this OH group comes over and gets attached to the carbon. And then this hydrogen then gets attached to the oxygen to form the alcohol. And base hydrolysis, or what's also called saponification, is a reaction where the ester with a we react an ester with a strong base in the presence of heat. So here we have the base. And you may remember when we were doing the carboxylate salts, we have that negative and positive there. Well, the NaO from the salt will get attached to the carbon. And then this hydrogen here will get attached to the alcohol. So that's where you get the sodium ethanoate. So we get the carboxylate salt back. So let's try a couple different reactions. We have methyl acetate. So we have this compound with a methyl group. Acetate means that there's two carbons there. All right, so we're re reacting it with water. Reacting it with water with heat and an acid catalyst. Because of that, because we're reacting with water, that means we're going to get the carboxylic acid and the alcohol back. So the carboxylic acid will look like this. And so the OH here rather than the OCH3. And then the alcohol will be methanol. Write the organic products of methyl acetate again. So let's put that compound in there again. With KOH and heat. Okay, we're reacting with the strong base now. Now we're going to do saponification. So we still have that CH3, C double bonded O, but instead of the OCH3, now we have O with a negative and a K plus. And once again, we have the methanol. And there's your acid hydrolysis and saponification.